Now, once you guys are ready to get your money, just retrieve it from your pet. For example, my dog. Where's my money at, huh? Hey, where's my money? <laughs> What's up, pranksters? I'm next, and this is Sinfado. In today's video, we're gonna follow up on a video we did previously. About a couple years ago, we showed you a bunch of ways where you guys can hide your valuables at home without anybody knowing that they're there. Basically, they're secret compartments within your house. So that's what we're gonna teach you in this video. Now, if you guys like the content in this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, you subscribe to us, and I hope you guys enjoy what we're gonna put out for you today. Let's get this going, guys. Check it out. So you got some birthday money right here, guys, and you don't wanna spend it just yet. You actually want to save it for later. A good way to hide your money, such as this dollar bill, is to find an item such as a hot glue gun. It can be any type of item as long as it screws on. For example, this right here has two sides. I have screws right here that will easily undo and I can pry it open. I've actually used this hack before when it came to sneaking food into class. But for this instance, we're going to hide our money. Now, once you've loosened up all the screws, you can pry it open. And these are the guts of the glue gun. Now notice on the handle, there's enough room to actually roll up a dollar bill. And you can tuck it inside. Just like that, guys. Make sure everything's in place before you put the cover on again. And all I gotta do is tighten up the screws and that's it. You guys can actually use this glue gun at home and nobody will know that there's money inside. Whenever you need your dollar bill, guys, you just gotta go back to unscrewing it open. And look, there's your dollar bill. Now you just put everything back and nobody would have known that you used the glue gun to hide your money. That's pretty cool, huh, guys? Pretty awesome if you ask me. All right, guys, so for this one, I know you guys can relate to me when I tell you guys that you guys have a brother, a cousin, a sister, an annoying dad, maybe an annoying mom, that always wants to steal your, your candy. For example, I have this chocolate bar Kit Kat, right? Now, anybody and their mama would probably want to eat this. But for this one, I found a good way to hide it so that nobody will steal it from you, ever. Basically, all you need to do is go to Walmart or the 99 cent store, get yourself a little box just like this one here. The cool thing about this little compartment box is that it opens up with these two little latches on the side. It pulls out like that and you have this little empty space. Now, guys, in order to conceal this, if you just put it in like that, you're gonna see it right away, right? Well, because it's see-through. Exactly. So. What I've developed is I took some paper clips like I have here and I'm going to put some on the bottom and then I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put some on the top, cover it and you guys will not be able to tell. So I'm going to show you guys and demonstrate that for you right now. So first off, you want to take some paper clips, throw some in the bottom just like this. Doesn't have to be a large amount, just enough to cover the bottom. That looks good right there. Then you want to lay the Kit Kat flat on there. And the Kit Kat is perfect because look, it, it fits perfectly wow. in there. Very snug. Then you want to cover the top with paper clips. Just like that. Spread them out. Wow, I can't see the Kit Kat anymore. Look at that. You want to cover with your lid. Throw up the latch. Throw up this other latch. And voila, look at that guys. Now, if your little brother, little sister, annoying mom or annoying dad comes in the room looking for your candy bar and they're like, Jesus Christ, where did he hide it? Well, it's sitting right in front of their noses right there with all those paper clips and they're not going to look at it and they're going to be like, I don't want no paper clips. I want to steal his chocolate bar. Well, good luck trying to find my chocolate bar because it's hidden now. So check it out, guys. Next time you actually want to eat your chocolate bar, you make sure nobody's coming. Pop the two latches. Take off the lid. Remove all your paper clips and look at that. What do we have here? Just uncovered a candy bar. Just uncovered my Kit Kat and it's ready for devouring, baby. Are you gonna share that with me? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take this. So I just went into the bathroom and I grabbed a roll of toilet paper. Now, for this hack, guys, 
the bigger the toilet paper is, the better. That way it will not run out anytime soon. We're also gonna need the roller, which, you know, it's essential when it comes to using a toilet paper. What I'm gonna do with this dollar bill, guys, is I'm gonna wrap it around this roller, and for that I'm gonna be using some tape. So just take one piece first, tape it on, and then wrap it around. Make sure it's centered, just like I have it here. And then we're gonna take another piece to hold it in place. So for this, all you guys need is some tape. Basically guys, so far so good. Now we just slide it into the roll of toilet paper. And notice that the roll actually covers the money, so you can't really see my dollar bill. And we're gonna put this where it goes, and you'll see that nobody will be able to spot this. At least not for a few days. Well, unless you have people that like dropping deuces at your house. Yeah, so try to use a bathroom that has the less traffic. See, I'll just put it back where it goes. And can you see my money? Nope. See, so even if I slide it either way, you just can't. So, this roll of toilet paper will last a couple days, as I mentioned, or maybe a week or so if you guys don't have a lot of traffic going into that bathroom. <laughs> but once you're ready to retrieve your money, just undo the roller, unhook it, and there's your money, guys. For this one, guys, I have an SD card, as you see right here. Now, these things come in handy for a lot of reasons. You can conceal so many important pictures or so many important files in these things that maybe you don't want nobody to see, right? Like the day you were poking your boogers in class and maybe it's recorded in here. You don't want nobody to see that, right? I know I don't. So what I have behind me, on top of me, is these hats, as you guys can see right here. Now they're perfect to hide things in plain sight, right? Because you wouldn't expect to find anything in this hat, right? But, good thing for you, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where to hide this in plain sight in a hat. I'm gonna take this hat right here, and now every hat has this little compartment for sweat, but what we're gonna use it for to hide our SD card. We just tuck it in there just like this. It stays nice in place, as you guys can see right there. Then, you just lift it back up. Look at that. Nice and snug. Put it right back where you got it from. And now nobody's gonna know where your SD card's at. Money's a good thing to hide in there also because it's lightweight. It doesn't cost nothing to put in there. You don't even have to put tape or nothing. It'll stay in place. So when you need that SD card again, guys, reach back for your hat, pop it off, and look at that. Your SD card's right where it should be. Now, ain't nobody ever gonna find that. Are you ever gonna post that video though of you uh, poking your nose? Don't count on it. All right guys, I got another dollar right here and I wanna hide it. And I know you probably never thought about this, but if you have a pet such as a dog or a cat, you can actually hide it underneath their collar. Let me show you how that's done. So here's my dog guys. Ain't he cute? <laughs> well, here's his collar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this dollar multiple times. Now it's not as white anymore. And here I have a paper clip. Now this paper clip is blue, just like my dog's collar is. So I'm gonna clip it on. And this paper clip, I'm gonna clip it on his collar. Come here, come here little guy. And it's gonna be tucked right under. Just like this. And it'll stay on him and I chose his back because that way he can't get to it. And that's it guys. He will hide my money, he will keep it there for a while, and now my money will be safe. And he doesn't let nobody get near him, so nobody's gonna wanna get near my money. They won't even know because, again, he doesn't like a lot of people. Ain't that right, huh? You ain't like me, right? All right, you keep my money safe, okay? I'll be back for my money later. Now, once you guys are ready to get your money, just retrieve it from your pet. For example, my dog. Where's my money at, huh? Hey, where's my money? Oh, it's right here. See guys, he still had it. I'm gonna undo it. And there's my money, safe and sound. Thank you, you've been a good boy. You earned this. Good job. And that's how you can get your pet to hide your money for you. All right guys, and those were some simple ways on how you guys can hide your valuables at home 
with secret compartments within your house. These are very simple and anybody can try these and your valuables will be safe. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. As for me, Sin Fado, and Next Raker, we'll see you later. Right here, I have two delicious donuts, guys. I want to take them into class and be able to eat them in class, but my teacher doesn't allow me to have donuts in class or any sweets for that matter. So what can I do? How can I sneak these into class without getting caught? Well, the simple method is the following, guys. This last method is my favorite because you'll be able to sneak pizza into class without getting caught. Just throw them in there, guys. I gotta leave some room for my Hot Cheetos Extra.